Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello, iPhone, my old friend. You know I'm streaming live video from you right now. That's right. Quick, remember that service that we talked about a while ago, QIK.com, uh, you know, that allows you to do live video streaming from a phone that supports their software? Well, Quick is soon going to be running on the iPhone. Oh, oh, I know. It has been able to run on jailbroken iPhones for quite a while, but, you know, I don't jailbreak my iPhone. So, uh, that would mean I am using an official app on a non-jailbroken iPhone to stream live video out to the web. That's right. In fact, right behind me is the live video feed uh, that we've got going uh, to Quick. That's QIK slash LockerGnome. And you know how to spell my locker gnome handle. That's two zeros, not O's. Thank you, Toast Paint. I appreciate the lead. If you don't believe me, I'm going to approach the camera and show everybody. Hi. You got to kind of hold it out a little further. And we will see. There's the interface. Look at that. There's the chat. That, that's not the chat at live.perilla.com, though. That is the, uh, that's the chat as uh, is seen on the Quick page, Q-I-K. So from here, I can do a couple of things. I can, I can watch chat. I can respond to chat. Obviously, I'm streaming out. I've got statistics, and I believe it's running at about 8 frames a second. Eh, audio's not doing too bad. I uploaded a, a file earlier to YouTube because they have the ability to save out to YouTube, which is really nice and quick. And then, of course, behind me, that is the uh, live stream as you're seeing. It's a bit delayed from the stream that's going out at live.perillo.com. I'm streaming three times over. Of course, it's just using the regular old uh, camera lens on the iPhone. And the quality, I would say, is really, really good. I know the video quality is a bit better than the audio quality, but that could be impeded by uh, my Richard Solo 1800 iPhone battery. By the way, remember, guys, you can get the 10% uh, off if you use my last name, Perillo. Sorry, I realize I'm far away from that particular microphone right now, but I wanted to show you up close. I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to stop the stream just to show you a few of the options. Here, I can get about change my user profile, I can change my location, I'm not going to share that with you. I can view stream details, sign out, change the resolution so I can make it smaller. Uh, and then I also have the optimization, min delay works pretty well. Uh, honestly, I'll, I'll try it on 3G, but I don't think I want to uh, try this on 3G. Uh, I'm using it right now on uh, Wi-Fi, and it's doing a pretty good job. You'll see uh, that particular recording, I think, or one of the particular recordings that I recorded and uploaded to YouTube. It was uh, earlier this afternoon. Uh, we'll be sure to cross-link it in the show notes so you can see what I had recorded earlier. But now you've seen it demonstrated in this particular video. It is cool. Uh, I can't wait to do more of this. And certainly it's good that I had to use this particular battery pack as I... Here, I'm going to set the... Uh, the oh, wait, I'm going to have to set it this way. I had it, I had the camera facing the other angle, but you see it's kind of it's kind of uh, buffering there on the back. Um, I'm glad I had the battery pack because this thing will drain your battery. Not only are you using your camera, but you're pushing data from not, uh, your your device out to the web, so it's just drain it's just sucking battery. It is so don't plan on using this uh, for very long unless of course you're close to a power source and. Uh, again, it makes a perfect plug for telling you about the uh, Richard Solo 1800, which will recharge an iPhone from like absolute no juice all the way back up to full. Uh, it'd be good to have a couple of those around. And no, I don't work for Richard Solo. You can use any iPhone battery uh, pack that you might uh, have lying around, but certainly you're going to need one if you plan on doing anything like this uh, from uh, any kind of mobile device. Certainly the iPhone, which hasn't always been outstanding in terms of benchmarks with uh, battery life. But it is pretty cool. I may have hit stop there. Is it going? Yeah, I, the stop button's up, so it must be going. I must. Hang on. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Let me hit refresh on this page. Okay. No, it may it may have stopped streaming. May have stopped going out. Oh, it's still going. People say here it's still going. So this mu this particular computer must have gone down. Now immediately. Uh, now that uh, well, actually I can kind of demonstrate this. I guess. I can hit play and show you this is when I was getting things set up and ready for doing this particular recording, uh, I believe. 
Uh, that's when I had it face down to configure a couple of other things, and then I pick it up in a couple of seconds. But anyway, you can watch that video immediately. It's a lot like uh, the, the way we've been doing it with Ustream.tv at live.perillo.com. This is a completely different service. Uh, I can and you can embed the mobile feed, but the problem with the mobile thing is that it can happen at any given time because I don't know when I'm going to do mobile video streaming at all. It's just going to happen. So I'm likely going to be talking to uh, Bear, potentially, from our chat room at live.perillo.com uh, since he's the one who edits Wicket. And I don't know, where's Pixie been? I don't know if, if Phil's working on Pixie. We've got a couple of IRC bots. That's something that would basically say that as soon as I start streaming, something would post to the channel saying, hey, Chris is live mobile streaming, go here. And then, you know, for every minute to remind people that's where I happen to be live streaming at the time. And then, of course, I'd be able to save out those clips like I had done earlier and then pass them along to YouTube. Uh, they're saved as FLV files. Uh, but I believe that uh, you can uh, transcode them to MP4 uh, using like Zamzar.com or any desktop software that you might have. But mobile video streaming is pretty hot. I mean, yeah, it, it makes your device kind of hot as well. Oh, wait a second. I was streaming. That's why it was black because the camera was face down. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Actually, earlier I had it sitting like this and I called it the Chris Perillo nose cam. Like, you can, can you see right straight up my nose here in just a second? It's crazy. Anyway, I, I've got to thank uh, Quick.com for making this possible. Again, Q-I-K slash, and Toast Paint, go ahead and, and link her off in the chat room. You're cool. L-0-C-K-E-R-G-N-0-M-E. Uh, -E. Why do I do that? Uh, because I'm just that kind of guy. I, I, I like uh, having numbers in my handle. Makes it more difficult for people to find me, I guess. I, I don't know how else to say it. So yes, I will be streaming mobile now more often since I will have the iPhone with me pretty much wherever I go. And, and certainly uh, the battery packs as well. Uh, now they're even more essential. It looks like I'm getting a, a different, uh, different chat in here again. I want them to integrate the chat room at live.perillo.com. The nose cam, no quick on App Store. No, not yet. This is not the jailbreaked version. Jailbroken version, I think you meant to write. Yes, he, I'm even schooling people in the quick chat room. Uh, he said no jailbreak. Oh, okay, so someone was listening. I can't really repeat his handle since it, it, it names a, a male body part. Uh, someone knows. Well, here's the thing. At the point, uh, at this time, at the point that I'm recording this, it is not readily available in the App Store. It will likely be coming. So how am I using it on a non-jailbroken uh, iPhone? Uh, it's much the same way I've been testing apps uh, from some businesses, some companies, some developers, uh, you can, as an app developer, give a certain amount of people access to your app without it being available in the iTunes App Store. This could be done for beta testing or for whatever reason. They call it ad hoc distribution. Uh, you would essentially use your, uh, well, it's called a UDID, uh, and I believe Unique Device Identifier. Uh, don't shoot me if I, I had that acronym uh, wrong, but I believe that's what it is. Essentially, it will allow the developer to give you a profile or some type of license to say, okay, install this on your iPhone, then you can use this app. It's the way I, 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 iTunes or I, uh, iPhone or Apple is getting around uh, the distribution and being able to test apps before uh, they are fully available in the uh, iTunes App Store. So it does work. Hopefully it will be coming. And I'm sorry that you have to look at my, uh, my laptop. Here, look at my microphone. There you go. Stare at my microphone for a little while. You like it, the mic. You like it, the mic. The seven frames per second mic. I don't think it's going to get much better than that. In fact, when I increase uh, the uh, the quality, allegedly getting better quality, 15 frames a second, it totally buffers. So I don't even know if it, it streams very well at all. It seems to record okay, though. So anyway, uh, QIK.com, got to give another shout out to them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be the first company to make a live video streaming app available on the iTunes App Store, uh, at least uh, for non-jailbroken phones. Well, you can't really use the iTunes App Store with a jailbroken phone, so kind of goes without saying. So thank you, Daniel, uh, for making it possible and making these connections. I, I certainly have been enjoying playing with it. Uh, we'll plan on doing some more mobile stuff now that uh, I, I will have this with me, and we'll likely be pushing that back into the channel on YouTube at youtube.com slash locker gnome. There's no zeros there. Ugh, I've really got to pick one handle and stick with it. Any old way, uh, you're more than welcome. Here, you get the nose cam. You're more than welcome uh, to send me an email, chris at perillo.com, uh, making recommendations for anything related to anything. <laughs> We're 
usually talking tech here in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. You can join us there. We've got 8,000 folks at this point uh, who are claiming to be geeks. Whether they are or not, well, it's for you to decide. Uh, and then, of course, you're welcome to join us in this chat room, the chat room that we sew directly into this live video experience. Of course, now I've got two separate live video experiences, and sewing them together is going to prove to be a challenge and a half. Yikes. Looking for any kind of recommendations you may be able to make, because we're talking about two different services on two different platforms. Ugh. Gosh, why can't they just make this easy? I just want it to be easy. I just want it to be easy. Is that so much to ask? Please? Please? Skeksis help, Gelfling. Please? Sorry, I broke into the dark crystal there. Anyway, you're more than welcome to join us in the chat room. Typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.